Hello Fire Signs, Aries, Sag, Leo. Welcome back everyone to my channel. This is going to be for all the Fire Signs watching or to the cross watchers who are, who are connected to a Fire Sign. So an Aries, Sag or Leo. Um, and this is going to be your love story to see where you're at currently and what you can expect um, coming up into the future. So we'll try to channel um, some predictions here for your Fire Signs. Before I get started though, I do want to say if you are after a private reading with me, please feel free to inquire. Uh, I am currently accepting those. If you enjoy this content, please feel free to drop a like, share, or a subscribe. That would be very much appreciated. Otherwise, let's jump into this reading. Okay, fire signs. Current fire energy around you is the Ace of Swords. So you've got a bit of a, a struggle or a battle. It could be a new connection, a new relationship, or trying to work through something currently right now. And I feel like right now it's a bit of a testing phase here for you, but ultimately that's going to pass. Now I feel like there's something that has your attention or a particular person that has your attention, right? There's a part of you that wants to fight for them. You want to be in their life. They want to be in yours, but it's almost like you keep coming into drama of some kind and you have to like overcome these hurdles time and time again. That's the current energy you're at now, but ultimately you will be crowned because you've got that crown with that Ace of Swords. I do want to say there might be another option um, that will pop up uh, fairly soon here for you through another relationship or another person. Could be like a long distance thing. Some of you are going to sort of, through that Ace, somehow you're going to be parted with your person maybe. Um, I don't know if this is like distance or work. There may be some sort of distancing, but I feel like it could be like a temporary thing or it's like that second person, another option um, comes up. Isn't that like the human condition to assess your other options? Um, but um, the next card you have over is going to be the three of wands. So I'm seeing some long-term potential happening here, but I also feel like you're casting a wider net. So this makes me feel like this makes me think you are, there's some long-term potential with this person or some of you are moving like on the other side of the world to be with a person here. Um, you're connecting with someone who seems so foreign and so distant to you, but I feel like you're going to make it work here with that three of ones. I also want to say that um, by the time you get to that stage, a lot needs to happen. Um, and at times it may feel like impossible, but a lot needs to happen for the both of you to sort of move forward um, and move in a... Uh, in a situation here. Uh, so it could be with a fire sign. You might be dealing with a fire sign here, but I'm getting there's, there's talks, there's conversations of the long-term potential. Someone wants to fly you out. You've got to go over there. I see you moving a lot for love by that stage, possibly even moving in with someone. Um, but you're, I don't know, you're working your way around the block here, fire signs, um, or you're moving far and wide to be with a person. There is a lot of movement around you. Eventually, all of this movement, all of this exploration, you'll be getting busy. Um, you're eventually going to sort of run out of energy, which I feel like you're going to approach that Seven of Cups. This is where you're really going to sit down and think to yourself, huh, do I really want this person? Am I really happy? What am I doing with my life? You know, you know, is this the love life? Is this the person I saw myself with? Like, it's almost going to be this epiphany slash you don't know how you feel slash you do know how you feel um, and it's like this mixed emotions and notice that dark shadow I feel like that's your subconscious trying to send you a clear message here fire sign so you can't ignore it you shouldn't ignore it um, and I feel like yeah it's guiding you to what you what you need to know where you need to be and that's this is a lot more subconscious activity than you're probably used to and that's coming up and then will come a very important message or a reach out or a reconnection of some kind with the Queen of Swords. It's a super, super important conversation that you're going to have, possibly about how you feel um, between yourself and your person. I also feel like you may hear from someone that you've been dying to hear from, Fire Sign. So you're finally going to reach out. They're going to reach out. Contact's going to be made. And, you know, there could be an extended invite um, that's coming your way. The next card is the Queen of uh, Wands, so strong Leo energy coming through here. And I feel like this is telling you there's a, a, a powerful sexual attraction or a sexual encounter that's coming your way. So um, that's really exciting. I feel like it's it's important in a sense that it's it's showing 
how strongly um, a spiritual encounter may be or how strongly you may feel um, about a person towards you, towards uh, towards each other. I really feel like you're sort of, you're going to be playing the field or you're going to have control of the relationship here. I feel like you might make some demands for your from your person and I feel like for the most part you're going to get those demands met. You're coming up as the six of one so I feel like this is victory in love, finally getting that gal or guy finally being connected finally getting engaged or married um it's a milestone moving in um remarrying signing divorce papers it's anything that's going to feel like a really proud and victorious moment for you that's going to come up in your future but eventually i feel like with the eight of cups you're going to move to a different chapter in your life now a lot of you are going to be relocating for love possibly with someone from your past so you're either going to be walking away from a past lover a past ex it's a breakup, it's the closing of a chapter, and you're going to search for something different because, again, the moon, the subconscious is going to nag you to be like, okay, we've got to up and leave. We don't want to be with this person. We don't want this. So I feel like that's going to be sort of on your agenda. Um, could be also a destined cancer who's coming back around you or someone who's still attached emotionally. I also feel like by that stage, you might be receiving dreams or some very powerful um, intuition or premonition about someone uh, that you wanted to be connected to, and then they're going to come forward. Okay, and then, and then again, contact is made. Could be with that queen and king. They may be connected, strong Gemini energy, but I feel like it's an important conversation that's coming your way. Um, and I feel like with the king of swords, this is some sort of massive agreement that I'm seeing here. So it's either you're changing, this person is changing, and suddenly you're making um positive changes and, and compromises and sacrifices for each other but it's going to work for the both of you so this i feel is tied into that success i mentioned earlier um i i do also feel like for some of you by that stage in your relationship you may be seeking some sort of help in your relationship like some of you may be in marriage counseling or you know like you're sharing your story somehow you're blogging about it you're journaling you're doing something therapeutic or it's like someone is going to be coming into your life, popping into your life to help you um, in your relationship somehow. So whether it's a guru, it's a therapist, maybe it's a counselor. I see like this very knowledgeable figure who's going to be there for you to sort of open up to and confide in. And then looking into that distant future, you've got the Wheel of Fortune. So you can expect big things here. This is about... Um, that sort of change is going to be very crucial. It almost resembles a clock here. So I feel like this is something about divine timing in your life um, and things changing for the better. It's some sort of fortune that's coming to your relationship. So it could be a very um, powerful change. It could be a lot of money. It could be just a beautiful cycle that you're coming into in your relationship. But it's going to work wonders. I seriously love the Wheel of Fortune. And I feel like it's, it's showing that you will have a lot of beautiful surprises in the distant future between yourself and, and this person and wherever you're at. Or if not, the universe, spirit, God is going to send you your beautiful person, your perfect person, your soulmate here. So how seriously exciting is that? Um, all right, I'm going to drop it there, fire signs. So uh, thanks everyone for tuning in and hopefully we'll be in touch again very soon. So much love and bye for now.